Welcome back to this game of Descent Journeys in the Dark 2nd edition. Now we are ready to go back to the hero's terms. We're going to start with Syndrome. She is pretty hurt. She has 8 damage and she has a health of 12. So in 4 more damage she will be knocked out. Now I also wanted to kind of show you what happens when you uncover a search marker. So because of those two things, I'm going to go ahead and have Cinderella move and then search. Cinderella has a speed of four. One, two, three, and once she is adjacent to a search marker, she can go ahead and search. We remove the token from the game and now we draw a search card. Our search card is an item. It's a fire flask. Let's see what it does. It says flip this card over to make a ranged attack with this item. So we get to use this like a one-time weapon kind of a thing. It's a ranged attack. Let's see it has search blast and uh, there's the dice that we roll. Our widow is going to move and attack hopefully Kill this Etin and finish this game. One, two, three. She'll interrupt her movement to attack from there. So here's what we get out of this attack. The Widow rolls three damage and our monster defends with one armor shield. Also we have two surges. We've got enough range so we're going to go ahead and use one surge to use the peer two, Pierce 2 ability and that means that the armor of this hero is going to be cancelled because of our Pierce 2. It goes right through the one armor defense. And then the other surge we will use to use our runic knowledge ability which if you remember read, we can use a surge to suffer one fatigue to gain plus two damage. So we will take that fatigue and now inflict plus 2 damage, meaning that we will be giving this monster 5 damages. With that powerful attack, this hero is defeated. That means that our heroes are victorious. Since we were victorious, we need to read this. The Etin collapses to his knees, one of his heads emitting a grumbling wail. The other head struggles to speak. Though we may die, we are but servants of the almighty overlord. Our master will be triumphant in the end. Arbin will fail, will fall, and fail. Then both heads grow silent and the beast topples over. And guess what? The heroes win! So you can see how overall this is a much shorter game and what that means is that you can probably invite some friends over that have never played games before and actually introduce them to this awesome game. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that now you have a better understanding of what the second edition of Descent looks like. I know I looked for videos all over just to get a feel of what the game felt like and I couldn't find any so finally I decided to get the game and make my own. Thank you for watching. I had to add one more thing before signing off. I'm actually going away for a few days and for the first time ever I've been able to pack Descent in this small box. Here you have it. I have all my heroes so I can play with different heroes with all their cards I have sweat, I have fatigue, I have my dice, and I have everything that I need to play the first quest. Granted, I can only play the first quest, uh, with, that only includes what, about four monsters, which are the ones that you saw in this video, and a few map pieces, but it doesn't matter. I get to go away and play Descent and carry this instead of the huge box. It was impossible to carry. So thank you Fantasy Flight for making a much more convenient and portable game that I can take wherever I go.